Hello and uh, welcome to another Racky's tap room. And uh, just bring that down a bit. Bloody yeah, camera angles, eh? Anyway, tonight, good evening, Thomas. The Battle of the Olds. Old Crap and Old Tom. Two good, strong, multi beers. So, We'll talk about each of them for those that don't really know a lot. And also it gives the internet a chance to wake up and send notifications out if it hasn't already. Right, so on the back of the old speckled and it says nothing. That's great, isn't it? Oh, it says here, our master brewers created a premium vintage oaked beer, which delivers the oak aged fruity raisiny notes from the old 5X with the lighter malt and toffee of old speckled end. Elegance and mystery and amazing with cheese. So yeah, there's one. And old Tom itself. Wow, the writing on here is really dinkum. Have you noticed how the best things in life seem to improve with time? Good good wine, friendships, and of course old Tom. That's because the strong ale you now hold in your hands ages beautifully in the bottle like no other. So by all means, pour yourself a deep, multi, dark and fruity glass of old Tom. But don't forget to lay some down for the great times ahead. Weeks, months or even years. Strange. I just wonder what the... Um, I'll have a look in a minute, see what the um, best before date is. So the world's most awarded beer, including the World Beer Awards of 2017. Obviously, it's 8.5%. Does it come with a, a date? I can't see one. No? Oh, it has. July 2022. So, a bit strange how they say leave it for years. Uh, and then put a best before date of next year one. Quite, um, quite interesting. So, as always when I do these battles, pour a bit from each, discuss what you get, and uh, go from there. So, the Tom first. Now, I did seven of these the other day, and I didn't think I'd come back to this, to be fair. Good evening. I do like Heineken, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heineken's one of those... Um, it was my go-to lager for years. Um, in fact, before I even went on to Real Ales, it would beer you know but not a real ale because it's not classed as a real ale so here we go old tom i don't think i'd be getting back on the old tom but i've seen it earlier and i thought yeah let's let's go down old tom avenue as it were <clears throat> so in this light let me put my little light on because it shows up better with the light on there we go and these mod cons these days Although I'm blind, didn't I? But there you go. So, very dark, um, dark chestnutty paw, off white head. And, uh, you know, as you can see, don't know if I leave some on the glass. That nose. Oh, rich raisin, Christmas pudding flavours. I do like old Tom. It's um, it's an interesting beer. Although I don't ever want to drink seven on the row again, especially after having a load of food. Uh, my stomach the day after was creasing me. In fact, my stomach the night was creasing me as well. Yeah. So there's a lesson to be learned there. Don't ever have a load of food and then um, and then try and do ten because seven in that was it gone. So, yeah, about five to ten years. Oh. I think my taste buds remember the other week. It's like, oh my God, it's touching that again. <clears throat> wow. That strength really hits you, hits you back again. It really does. It's been able to leave a beer for five to ten years. I don't know. I don't know how anybody can do it, especially if it's something that's nice, you know. 
and especially the ones that I would class as box ticking. Uh, they get drank in the space of a few weeks, the decent ones. So to leave leave a beer for years, I'll take some doing. I mean, obviously, if you buy the Fuller's, it's like the Fuller's Vintages, um, leaving them for years. Wow. Fortune after a few years as well. Oh, I do enjoy this. It is. I mean, before, it is, I would class it as, nowadays, as the best traditional beer in the supermarkets, but not the best, um, highest ABV beer now. Because, obviously, North Star and North Star 2 are the highest ABVs. And, in fact, Conrad Stout by Lervig, I think that's actually 10.5. So, that is actually the, la the biggest ABV beer. Um, but that's only available in one supermarket, not all of them. So, fruity, strong, brilliant, you know, good ABV, really itchy as well. Even drinking a little bit of this, I can feel it. It's in, it's in home. Um, it's going to be interesting to go up against the old crafty and if memory serves me right when i did a previous battle with old crafty abbott king goblin and uh, there was another one 1698 um old crafty i think was the one that won or 1698 did I can't remember it. it's been a while uh, i've had a few beers since then so First taste of that, and then on to the old crafty and see how that goes. And I'm wary with this internet connection to see if it drops it. It didn't drop it earlier, but I had a bit of a an issue getting back on the internet a minute ago. So we'll see what happens. It's all a bit of a a test for this Chromebook just to see um, <clears throat> to see if the Chromebook can last the space of time. Um, using my phone as a uh, Wi-Fi. Mm, very interesting. For lives, anyway. If I'm not doing a live, it's not really a worry. And there we go. Quite a, sh a few shades lighter than the um, old Tom. It's very dark amber poor, this does. Uh, nice white head. A bit of carbonation inside the glass. Like it says, it's um, a blending of old 5X and um, old speckled N. So it's like a old speckled N was on steroids. That's 6.5%. Similar sort of thing from what they've done with Abbott Reserve and Abbott. Whereas Abbott is a 5% beer. Um, Abbott Reserve, good evening again. Abbott Reserve being the 6.5%. And uh, I like these, you know. I mean, the Bombardier did the same with the normal Bombardier. Whatever, I don't know what it's called these days. Bombardier Amber or something. I think they ruined the brand. Um, should never have lost the patriotic version. Bombardier Amber and then Bombardier Colonel's Reserve, which again was another stronger version. But anyway, on the nose. And again, you do get that um, Christmas pudding, of, you know, the raisins and that sort of thing on the aroma. Oh, and it is a drop of quality. Good evening. It was old Crafty that won the battle. Oh, right, yeah, that is interesting then. And it is funny, you know, thinking about these battles, that it's, <clears throat> if I was going to pick a winner out of the four from that from that battle, it would always be, um, I've got to remember that the camera is here and not down there. It's dead weird looking at the wrong space for the camera. 
it would always be uh, King Goblin for me, which would have won the battle. So for it not to be King Goblin this time, you know, on that occasion was was very interesting. And uh, I will, uh, for the sake of the channel going forward, try and do some battles like craft beer battles. Get some big Imperial Stouts against each other. It's not too many though, because uh, I'll be steaming. And one doesn't want to be steaming too much. I've got work next morning. But um, so I mean, when it's, you know, school nights. But um, yeah, for this to win was amazing. You know, it was amazing for, for old crafty. And it just goes to show you, as beer reviewers, that sometimes those beers, it's, it's never easy to fully review a beer properly. Because uh, on any given occasion, a bit one beer can taste better than it normally does, and one beer can taste worse. So to put them in a battle, now there's where you you get a true, um, a true winner really. Because I think King Goblin came third. It was balmy, and it was just the nose, the taste, the look, and whatever else. So. Oh, and again, it's that drop of luxury. What you got to imagine is, yeah, it's Green King, you know, Moorland, as they call themselves, but Green King. Um, and, you know, the big reputation, the big brewers have not got the greatest reputations for how they deal with their brands. But this is still a quality beer made by um, Green King. And uh, it sells the hell of, very well. And on when it's on that four for six pound deal, it's it's just exceptional. You know, you, you can't fault it for four for six quid. Uh, it's not always on four for six. Um, only probably now only only Tesco's left. It may be at, it may be at Morrison's. I'm not sure. I can't remember where I bought this one. Um, I know at Sainsbury's it always used to be the two quid barrier. Good evening. So I've not got to the actual battle yet. I'm just uh, reminiscing and uh, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's nice to um, appreciate such good beers. Um, obviously, both Old Tom and Old Crafty. Uh, very, very good beers. And, uh, you know, in some ways, the supermarkets, for, for craft breweries to really grab a hold of the the industry you've got to get in the supermarkets obviously brew dog did that with punk ipa although they've played around with it ever since and dropped the abv twice i think um i don't like the abv being dropped because something's missing when you start dropping abv you know you've got to be taking something out a bit of flavor or something to get that abv down I mean, look what Saddlers did to the Christmas pudding stout. Uh, they absolutely ruined that. And uh, this Christmas pudding stout against these two would have been quite the battle. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I'll tell you what, it, it's, it, it's tough drinking it tonight. It's like, oh, God, <laughs> bloody hell. Yeah, I've got three bottles, though, because obviously I bought ten. Uh, meaning to do 10 so and then I thought well to get anything into supermarkets you've got to be um, be able to make that beer a silly price so I suppose cutting down on certain ingredients, especially expensive ingredients, um, you don't, you know, you need to be making some money, and it's it's good for some firms. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday back the beer festival. Yes, I might pop down Thursday night. Yeah, there's some interesting ones. There's probably about five or six on the list that are curious. Yeah, some I had before. So I'm doing two. I'm on a four day week this week from Friday. So I'm working four days and then straight after work on Thursday, 
I'm going down to bloody, I'm doing two gardens. So uh, start at seven in the morning and I'll finish about seven at night. So it's going to be a long night. <clears throat> a couple of beer reviews. But I may, I may drag the wife out to go and look at the um, Choco Clock and Odin's beard. <sighs> they do sound good, don't they? They do. Um, I do fancy going down to Little and uh, sit, seeing what, um, what's out. And hopefully my Little's got some. I don't know how you are in part, different parts of the country. But these supermarkets are hit and miss with beers at the moment. Uh, even the sp supposed when they do... Scottish, the Scottish Little always batters the English version. Yeah, just my bolting and good evening. Yeah, just my bolt in what the uh, that the Scottish get so much. I mean, if I was living in Scotland, it's all going to casks at the moment. Yeah, I'm really open for a bottle. Um, you know, just to age it and just to have it behind me. Could you imagine one just behind me? They did say they was going to get me a pump clip as well. Uh, I suppose this time, you know, and um, especially if it comes to bottles. The Belgian beer boxes, they're amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two of them, you know, one for review and one for So, good evening. Yeah, Bowman. I mean, he's he, where he, he's king into forgetting stuff. Gets his gets his mates to go over the border, and uh, I hope that's better. Two pound a pint, local tap room, fair play. I must admit, I've this weekend and last weekend, we've we've been to um, one two one tap room. Two pubs and also two more micro pubs, and we've had a cracking weekend. In fact, today it was nice to get in the garden and just chill out a bit because uh, you know you can hit the pubs too much. Fourth Guinness, fair play, fair play. So I am enjoying this wider screen. Still not showing me t-shirts up. Oh, it does. If I sit back, it does. I suppose I could just drop the angle down just that little bit more. Um, and remove the feetstones from the top, which really is advertising somebody. I don't really want to advertise. I don't mind feetstones, but that's better. Yeah, now you can see both the this these bits hanging on the and there you can see the old Tom um, sign. So that's even better. And the beer sign. Yeah. Helping ugly people have sex since 1526. That really needs to go up. I really need to find a space on one of these shelves here for the beer um, sign to go up. And the old Tom, really. These two over here, these two jobbies here, the dog piss and the shit faced. I'm going to move them. And then maybe put smaller cans just there so that the sign fits in, but still enables me to put a few cans on. And I've just realised it's on that stupid top chat. So let me stick it back to the live chat. I don't know if that was... Ah, there we go. Don't think it's made any difference. No. No, it hasn't. There you go. It does on your phone, though. On the phone, the live chat shows up a hell of a lot more. And then the top chat does the top chat on your phone's crap. Just it's strange. YouTube really can be strange. So yeah, I mean four for six quid for this. Or uh, out, uh, I think actually Asda now with the four for free is possibly the best deal in supermarkets. I have noticed though that prices have gone up on certain beers. I think Bass, Bass Trademark was only um, a quid or one pound, two pence. And I'm sure it had gone to one pound 30 the other day when I went in. But it's on a four for free. 
So you imagine buying four of them. So and getting them for the price of three. So it's actually three pound ninety. So really saving a bit of money. That's probably why they've done what they've done. They aren't daft, these companies. You know, there's a limit on what they're going to um, give you the price at. But the four for free, especially on the, some of the craft stuff, is a good a good deal. As long as you, I always find this with Asda, self go to the self scan, scan the expensive ones all together. You'll get one of them cheaper, or for free. You know, four for free. And and as you're scanning, then scan the expensive ones first, and scan and then scan. Go down scanning. Don't don't just scan anything, because it'll always be the cheap bugger you'll get for free. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's crafty. That's the only good thing about scanning yourself. You can pick and choose. Has it? Has this been since Brexit? Then I always thought in in London, Derry, that. Um, I mean, we're wanting to go across, we are, but ah, God knows when. Um, yeah, I always thought that most of the beers were from Northern Ireland anyway. Yeah, it must be Brexit, yeah. It can't be nice being, you know, Brexit's a... The, I don't know, the governments do you nothing, don't they? Things should have been left as they were. They could have come to a special agreement between Northern Ireland and Ireland. Good morning. How are we? Thinking about you, Miles, uh, there's another shop on Mansfield Road near me. It has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, I do want to do go back to some sort of... I, I can't do the hour and a half every night because... Red cards. But a Welsh cake stout, bless you. But I do want to get the... I do want to get some sort of... Um, keep the, like, the six o'clock thing going. And doing like two beers at six and then another beer earlier, something like that, anyway. Or doing going back to this tap room format, which is more casual, you know. It's old Tom versus old Crafty tonight, but uh, um, I do, I do want to, um, thinking about people with money because not every, not all of, I know, no go to, um, probably in the pub or with a woman, bless him. Um, I do want to go go and buy all the cheap stuff. <laughs> Tell you dad to get you one. Bless you. Uh, yeah, get miles a drink. Um, politics in Northern Ireland are tough, aren't they? It is tough. It is tough. Problem is, it's all going to kick off in Northern Ireland if they don't sort things out. If people go to the shops and there's nothing in the shops, it's going to start kicking off. And it, it gives those who want to kick off the reason to kick off. Same in, the, same in England. This bloody COVID and whether you be, believe in it or whether you don't believe in it, it's giving off the people, that are, the conspiracy theorists, it's giving them the chance to kick off. Yeah, yeah, politicians, I hate them all, Andrew. They, they all, you know, they, they all leave a taste in your mouth. Very well, Liam, how are you? So, Liam, everybody, has actually been to Arnold today and uh, has been and picked himself up some Raggy's Golden Ale and he's got a bottle at his house and he's, he's going to review it uh, live on air. Good evening, Adam. How are you? Was it you, Craig, and um, Peter at the Manchester Bear Festival this weekend, just out of curiosity? Oh, waiting to be drank. You see, I, as it's very hard to do an impartial review when it's a beer made for you. And with your name on. So it'd be interesting to see it from somebody else. Um, the, is it Joe Biden? Biden. 
How old's Joe Biden? Is he about 90? He's an old fellow, isn't he? Jesus. Waiting for the kids to go to bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'd be very interesting. I do hope they bottle it. Good morning again, Sam. It was good evening earlier, but uh, it must be early morning for you, mate. Ah, right, yeah. So you made a weekend of it at the beer festival? Wow, I think I can only do one day at a beer festival. I'd be thinking about the money. I'd be crying. Hey, not cheap going to beer festivals. No interruptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to see what you think of it. You know, well, hear what you think of it. You know, nose, taste, looks. And hear it from somebody else, somebody who likes their beer, you know, knows different beers. Because it's, um, with anybody with drinking, like, this rag is golden ale. It's interesting to hear it from another source. I mean, the landlord said to me it was top notch. So that that kind of calmed the old nerves. And I thought when I got there, it was pretty decent. Yeah, when Craig comes to Nottingham, I'm hoping that uh, I think Friday, I think it's coming up late Thursday. So I'm working Thursday. But um, if his train journey is at, um, if he gets here for three o'clock ish, or past three, four. Fifty pounds, unlimited one hundred mil pours. Hundred mil pours, fucking hell! But he was queuing at the. I'd, I'd be just standing at the bar. Hundred mil, whoop, gone. Another one, mate. Another one, mate. The lady who sold it, yeah. What does she look like? Curiosity says. Short hair, in, in a bit of a bob. Do you call him a bob? I don't know if you call him a bob. Uh, if it's a short hair, it's a woman with shortish hair. Yeah. <laughs> you had two glasses? Oh, just get two at a time. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Well played. Well played, Mr. Mosey. Yes. See, Nottingham Beer Festivals, sorry, Robin Hood Beer Festival is very different to that. So at Robin Hood Beer Festival, uh, you've got tokens. You've got... Mm, there's no real queues. No queues. Unless you go to a, a really busy bar. But... Nine times out of ten, you're there. Second later, you've been served. Right, yeah. Blondish hair. I thought it was blonde. Really quite a pretty woman. And, um, yeah, I mean, and, the, and the tokens, depending on the, the strength of the beer, it can, only be, it can be any two tokens, up to six, depending on how strong. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you do a video review, I'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I know you're not shy with videos, so be all good. And I can sh share it. Are you back with dark hair now? Oh, dark hair. Dark hair. Right, yo. She is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quite tall. Um, yeah, she she served us a few weeks ago when I went in went in to get some um, some draft beer. I do want to do more more beer festivals. I mean, yesterday, me and the wife, I took the wife out to. Um, yeah, so it'll be the beer review community. Um, Thomas, short and darker. All oh, right. Probably got lots of staff. Um, I forgot where I was going there. No, 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 I forgot. Craig was back on the barley wines when you left. 
And it's Todd as well. Bless him. I'll get him on barley wine when he comes down to Nottingham. Hey. <laughs> oh, dear. We'll do some uh, some dual internet reviews. I wonder if that's a thing. I might set it up so that Craig on his channel, me on this channel. Oh, Peter was still there. Oh, good. Yeah, you don't want to be on your Todd, will you? Uh, uh, it was always better when there's more of you. Thinking about, good evening, Chris. Thinking about yesterday and the day before. Me and the wife, I took the wife to two Lincoln Green pubs on Saturday and yesterday to two micro pubs. And I've been trying to get her into drinking real ales and craft beers. And she drank a 7.2% gunmetal from lager from Round Corner Brewing, I think it was. She drank the whole lot. 72 Well proud of her. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and drag it to a beer festival at some stage, even if even if it's just Hucknall Beer Festival, and uh, try and get her into it because I think the more she gets into it, and the more the you know, she sees that the that women are out there enjoying this beer as well. It'd be good. Might not be good for our money, but um, it'd be good to go out there and enjoy and have a laugh. Hey, it'd be good. Um, Hucknall. I think it's a Sunday, because I'm sure the Friday's when Craig's over. So I'm on a pissy arse weekend. I might have to set the Monday off in order just to recover. It is an Imperial gunmetal, yeah. Yeah, it was an Imperial, Adam. Yeah, I'm sure the, the, the regular ones in Sainsbury's as a black lager. I do vaguely remember doing a round corner um, one from Sainsbury's black lager. Oh, could you imagine that on Up North Beer Festival? Jesus. And uh, the good man. Best best beer. It's tough, that is, you know. It's really as tough these days. Light fruited sours or pastry stouts? I thought it was, yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to think what to what to get her. Get to try and get her into. She likes Bailey's. Something that tastes like a Bailey's milkshake would be amazing. You know, pastry styles. I'll have to get some Imperials and just keep trying her. Something she knows she can taste. She gets the taste. Only likes Creek. Not the Quack. Creek or Quack. Creek. Oh, yeah. Hello. Sorry. Definitely pastry styles. Okay. I'll have to do some. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good session beer. I'll give it that. Cherry. Yeah, Creek. Yeah, 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 yeah. She could pick out the cherry. Yes, we had, we had we had something yesterday, and she could pick out the cherry. Sadler's mud stout, like the exploding one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to both the August beer festivals. I've got to save some money for that. Jesus, Tuck Port is amazing. Have you never had it before? Oh, top class. Is. As a, as a brewery goes, and I'm, I'm not just stay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing their review now, so I can say what I like. As a brewery goes, they do some amazing beers. They do Lincoln Green. I'm on about first time. Bless you. Uh, Sherwood's nice, light, easy going. I think Sherwood's one you've got. Uh, if I was going to drink them in in order, I'd go Raggy's first, then Sherwood. And then Tuck. Leave Tuck till last because it's the strongest. And the flavour is really good, really smooth, really good porter. Yeah. And for a 4.7% porter, it's it's mint. Very good. Anyway. So, yeah. I think Craig's up on the Thursday. So, whether we'll have a drink Thursday and... Uh, 
Friday at the Beer Festival, what, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. So that don't start till five o'clock, to be fair. Keep going back into the lockdown. You'd think they'd pack it in now, wouldn't you? You know, you've got to live with it at some stage. Get people... Yeah, get people vaccinated and try and live with it. People are going to die, but people die of all sorts, don't they? And, uh, you know, you can't forever keep the country. The world can't cope. You know, there's only so many, so much, so much. Um, I mean, I'm glad. I'm all right. I work, for, I, I work where I work. I'm, I'm sad as I am. You know, I work outside, so there's not much chance of uh, me um, being able to get isolated in the road like that anyway. It's tough at the moment for pubs with all these staff having to isolate because they keep getting pinged. You know, at some stage you've got to turn around to your staff and say, get rid of that bloody app because it's an absolute waste of time. The set, yeah, neither jabbed it out to me. I took two tablets each time, job's good, and that was it. Is up um Thursday night is coming up, Friday Nottingham Craft Beer Festival, Saturday tap rooms. And I reckon we'll get a few tap rooms in before we go to the Craft Beer Festival. And uh there's some iconic I hope he's up some videos. Whether he does any himself or not, I'm not sure, but I will be. Uh Saturday, uh yeah, that and I think he's going home on the Sunday blessing. But uh, yeah, it should be good. Um, I'm looking forward to going to a craft beer festival. I've never actually been to a craft beer festival. I've been to Nottingham, the Robin Hood Beer Festival, about six or seven times. But I've not been to a craft beer festival. So this will be interesting. Plus, in the Snenton area of Nottingham, for those who are coming up for the Robin Hood, and also doing um, the Saturday as well, the, the, the Snenton area of Nottingham has got Neon Raptor, King Billy, the parties tavern now a new micro pub with lots and lots of craft uh the rock pub that's there liquid light around the corner and then hockley lots of tap rooms and that's just Stanton and like the hockley area uh, absolutely mad how much there is so 37 minutes in for robin hood start at 12 o'clock don't you start at 12 o'clock and uh Stay till 12, if you can. <laughs> Although I think a couple of people might be coming to my house. I think uh, Goathead, Dave, was on about coming in. Although I don't know if it's sensible. I don't know if it was sensible to be drinking. Yeah, I don't think it's too sensible to be um, getting too pissed up. Yeah, get here for about 11. Beer review from the tap room. I can fit four chairs behind it. Well, actually, you look now, because of the wide angle I've got now, you could have somebody sat here, somebody sat here, somebody sat here, and somebody sat there. You could fit four people crowded up into a review. That would make some chuffing review, wouldn't it? Hey, now if I could get Raggy's Golden Ale for that, for the for the Raggy's Golden Ale four people with you, that would make something. That would yeah, it'd be an interesting. Am I going to do live streams? Hell yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to drag everybody who's there with us, and anybody that no anybody that recognises me like breweries. Uh, I'm going to drag them for a bloody review, or at least a hello to the camera. Oh God. Mr. and Mrs. Raggy Beer Reviews. Do you know if she gets if she gets brave and she gets into beer, that could be a thing for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Then she'd probably bollock me for drinking too much as well. So, so there we have it. Hot tub. I'm just glad to have a hot tub that works again. So, with regards to this, No, they're all empty, mate. 
Uh, sorry, they're all full. Full, yeah. Yeah, that's the full un un unadulterated. There's still more beers, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. There's another shelf at the bottom that you can't see, just, just below there. Beers there, beers there, beers there. And then there's home brewing everything else. And, uh, yeah. I've got about two two bottles of wine that was well. Good evening. So here we are, the actual battle, and a bit of nice natter. So on the the colour wise, obviously a darker colour than old crafty. Um, beautiful, well clear as you can see through this this glass. Funny in the light how it turns from like a chestnut colour, to neon black in the, at the back. When you get to the back there, it looks like it's black. Same with the um, Crafty. It looks like dark amber in this light. Then you, the more you go backwards, the darker it becomes. Good evening. Um, so, on the nose then. <sighs> you do them. Those... Raisins, Christmas pudding vibes. <sighs> now, old Tom's not been. Old Crafty was the winner, and thank you for reminding me, was the winner of the 1698 versus Abbott Reserve versus... Thank you. And it is nice to be back in here. It is nice to have, it, have, have us back. Even if it's only for an hour... Old Tom, yeah, 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 I didn't think I'd touch Old Tom either. First sipping, I'm like, oh, God, I can remember what happened the other week. <clears throat> that shelf's never right, is it? Look at that. The level's wrong. It's wonky. Oh, well, doesn't matter. It's old, isn't it? Um, right, then. So, on the nose. Got to say that old Tom is has a more stronger aroma to it. They're both very similar on the nose in the way they are, but old Tom's just for me just winning. Elvis juice is five point one now. Dear, I'm sure the last time I heard it was five point four. Bloody hell. Brewdog are getting that Marston's. So, old Tom, uh, colour-wise, which colour do I prefer? If I was going to be thinking about the colour, it was 6%. Does my head in. Really does. If I was going to say about the colour, yeah, I know duty is the killer, isn't it, I suppose. But do you... Do you mind paying a bit, a little bit more for the beer to stay as the same? I'm I, personally for me, I'd rather the beer stays as the same and I pay a little bit more uh, rather than you know, punk RPAs down to 5.4. That's why they put a double punk out so they can still <laughs> crap in it 6.5. I'm sure punk IPA when it first came out was about 6.5. So if I'm going to be a, the colour, I think Old Crafty's, the colour is nicer to me. Although they're both decent, to be fair. On the nose, though. Old Tom's winning it on the nose. I did like the original Elvis as well. Yeah, it was spot on. Absolutely spot on. Now, you know when you're drinking one of them? Beautiful. Really, it's a spot lovely. Those flavours. Oh. Right. I need, to, I need to get another bottle, a bottle of Broadside as well. So Old Crafty at the moment is my king of... We'll call it the king of traditional supermarket beers. Because it's took out the king. The king. It took out the king. To take out the king, you've got to be um, some beer. Here we go. Blow. 
Bloody hell. So, whereas the the old old Tom is more, it's got more boozy, very similar though. Old Tom is more boozy, but all them Christmas pudding vibe, you know, them Christmassy flavors all come through the richness. But versus this, then you take a, a gulp of the um, old crafty, and again, that has an explosion of flavor. And it's really interesting that a Green King beer beat the other three, although one of them was also a Green King. And uh, this is interesting. Bloody hell. Broadside's good. I'm going to have to buy some Broadside and start and put Old Crafty against all of them. Well, one at a time, obviously. And then you forget that the boozy factor in this, I mean, that's 6.5, that's 8.5. They are both great beers, no shadow of a doubt. And I don't think ABV matters. In At the moment, ABV does not count with this. I know Old Tom's stronger. I can taste the strength. But it's it's the actual, what the, what, what the flavour's delivering, the taste. And uh, I can feel that I can feel the strength in my belly, though. Whew. Yeah, I had um, Sadler's make a lovely red IPA in in the UK, and I did have one. I had a red IPA from somebody else a few weeks ago, comment group, and that also was an absolute belting IPA. Um, yeah, definitely. The nose helps. What it looks like helps. But taste is paramount. When the good good man comes up to Nottingham, Craig, I no, no, not tonight, no, no, no. Don't want to push the old boundaries, <clears throat> but uh, I might do it as long as I've had some dinner before. Trying to bring back the six o'clock because I think six o'clock was a good time to be fair. As long as I've had my food, even if I have to cook it myself. And uh, I mean, before I came down the shed tonight, I had a, a nice rump steak, uh, garlic mushrooms, uh, pepper sauce, and some potato gratins, and uh, went down a treat. And then I'm going to dive in the octub straight after this review, straight in the octub, have an hour in the octub, chill. And luckily the wife shut the door so it won't chill out too much. So the one good thing, it's the one great thing I'm glad I built is basically a shed to incorporate the octub. Um, I've, I've cleaned it up today, put more shelves in there. Good evening. Oh. So everyone, the Station Hotel. Good evening, Tom. We actually need to go to the station hotel. It might, hopefully, we'll, we'll get there when when it's on the bar. The station hotel is a Lincoln Green Brewery hotel um, pub based in Hucknall, not too far from the actual brewery shop. Very, very nice. What did you think of it? You know, on the nose. I mean, for me, I, I thought it was at 3.8%. We're talking sessionable. So... Uh, and the golden ale, it's it's easy drinking. Um, there's, a, there's a hint of citrus on the nose. Citrus, a touch of grapefruit. You putting your video on you on the good on you, Liam. Yeah, it was a great experience. I mean, um, we do want to. We've, I've already been down to the one at Cannon Circus, and it's awkward to park around there. But we do want to go. We, we are going to pop over to the station hotel, and we also are going to pop over to the Belper. I'm going to set the wire for a meal. But yeah, doing beer reviews, doing this, you know, it's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, one can't be getting red cards. No, no. There's a game all blokes have to play, and uh, and it's the being good game. And uh, 
but yeah, Liam, you know, doing videos, becoming a beer reviewer yourself, you've got a personality. I've seen your videos. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you've certainly got a personality. Personality is key when you're doing beer reviews because you need to have some sort of, you know, bit of a personality and uh, the parodies and all that shit stuff. But also doing, you imagine doing beer reviews of some of the pinter stuff that you're doing and that. I mean, it is a hassle. Don't get, you know, be under no illusion that, and I'm sure other beer reviewers can, can you know, people that watch this in the future will say, yeah, drinking the beers or this is the easy process. It's all the social media that absolutely kills you. Twitter instagram my god facebook and it just batters you so wary of my one hour time limit <clears throat> and yeah i'll be watching that video later yeah 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 just to see what you think of it you know I don't edit. What you see is what you get. If I'm, you know, I don't be a dick. I don't be an idiot. I mean, obviously, you know, I try and be right. There's only a few out of, out of like 2,000 something reviews. There's probably three or four reviews where I slated the beer and quite rightly, you know, but the rest of the reviews, I try to be decent and, and nice. Good evening, Mr. Goatead. How are you? And I'll tell you what, come October, once the beer festival, yeah, once the beer fest, once we know October beer festival is going ahead, and if it starts at 12 o'clock, if people get here for 11, then we'll have an hour here. We'll do a beer review from the beer room. Hey, could you imagine doing, uh, if, if, if Lincoln Green actually um bottle it i pray to god they do uh, a raggy's golden ale review from here for us or as many as we need you know, i can i can take the camera all the way to the bottom of the shed um and it'd be a laugh on it would be a laugh but i've got some i've got some good strong beers and uh, if i don't drink them beforehand yeah some good ones so seven minutes to go i do apologize for cutting it at an hour did tell the wife an hour. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? We'd have to be a garden with you. My decking can hold quite a few people, while well, he hopes. You know. Can't see there being that many people. Yeah, famous last words, I suppose. But um could you imagine though? All day long beer reviews. I tell you what. Yeah. I tell you what, it'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Going down, you know, because obviously. It could be the fact that five people turn up. and But could you imagine going down to October's Beer Festival and there being a shed load of people, other beer reviewers, people in the community, people from other people, other beer review communities, you know, people who go to Scott and to a Barry's and even real ale craft beer and whatever. People all come into this and then meeting up. God, we could have the biggest laugh ever. And do absolutely hundreds of bloody um, videos from the beer festival. I think for the beer festival, I have to make sure that the wife um, sends me all her data, just so I've got enough data for the day. It's going to be messy. Uh, not well, hopefully not too messy, but it'll be a good day. <clears throat> so the battle of these two beers. Uh, on the nose, old Tom wins. On the looks, I actually prefer the old crafty. On the taste, where it matters. Um, bloody hell, you're not going to believe this. And I feel off steaming as well. Um, the, the the battle of the old old beers, old crafty. 
I don't know, minute, there's a bit left in there. There you go, get in, get in. Make sure there's none left in there as well. Oh, there's a drop, bless you. The Battle of the Old Bears. Who do you think's won? How the hell did Old Crafty beat Abbott Reserve? <laughs> uh, it beat King Goblin. It beat 1698. And it's just beat Old Tom. And I implore anybody at home to do this as well get yourself a bottle of old tom get yourself a bottle of old crafty not too expensive especially if you can get them on a deal and do the smell taste test you know and enjoy both of them and see which one comes first because i tell you what it's bloody amazing and make sure when you put them up on youtube your videos that you share them on the beer review community page that's what that page was. That's what that group's about. You know, it's it's not just for the likes of me to share beer reviews, but everyone. You know, the more people that are doing beer reviews, the better. Yeah. I mean, I did it as a hobby. And three years later, it's starting to get quite interesting. You know, I mean, <laughs> and, you know, the longer the journey goes, you never know where it heads to, do you? And let's be fair. Wherever we live, like Dave lives in Wales, so there are bears out there not getting reviewed, breweries that not getting any 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 additional help from YouTube. Can you imagine these breweries getting a bit of a bump up. Yeah, supermarkets get enough bump up. No, don't care what people think. Just say it as you think. Yeah, job's good. Em. So. I will try. I need to start buying more beers and give a week's notice. I used to do it and I need to get back into that. Then at least then people can join me. And we'll, we'll all be drinking, the, you know, as many as that want to be drinking the same stuff together. And we'll do some more battles. Um, not this week coming. But what I will do, I led to somewhere like Morrison's. And well, beers. I know that I'm, I'm in a battle. Thank you, Kevin. Most humbling. Let me feel bad as well. Um, but uh, we'll make sure that we that I um, we, we we do it as a community. Yeah, yeah. We need, I, need, I need to get back into that. It slipped a bit. There was, we had, I had some issues, you know. Um, things slipped. But um, obviously, we're in summer now. And it weren't long before we were in autumn. weren't long before we were in winter. And um, thank you, Kevin. And in the winter months, I do want to get two advent calendars or maybe even good evening, Bolton. Or maybe even free advent calendars. But I want to do the advent calendars so that we're all joining together. So I might do a thing um, where we, as a community, we look at advent calendars. Uh, adventure beer is always going to be one for me because it's on my doorstep and I'm supporting locals. But a, a, a national advent calendar that we can all get, if we can afford it, obviously. But for them, for them, December months, I'm all good, if I can afford it, to get free advent calendars and do free. I can do free beer reviews a night. The wife don't, not too bothered about that. It's the sneaky beers that she's not happy about, but fair play. I, even I get that. <clears throat> but yeah, doing free, ad, free beers, free advent calendars would be interesting. And even if it was a, like a gin calendar or a wine calendar. But uh, beer is probably the favourite of most people. But uh, looking at what's out there, I mean, I know you we're, with advent calendars, you're looking at a good 75 to 80 quid, unless you get low cost. Low cost, 45 quid for their advent, cal advent calendar was a decent price, but yeah, slow words. Right, 
So, old crafty again. It's that not knowing. It's that not knowing what you're going to drink. It's, it's like opening a Christmas. I thought Slurpee, Slurpee was doing okay the other day. But obviously I don't do lives every day anymore. And there he is. Good evening. <laughs> I'll stop on for another five minutes because of because of the main man coming in. And uh, it's always good to know that people are okay. You know, when you see people's names and, and uh, four days out of quarantine, good to hear, mate. You know, when you see people's names and then you don't see them. And I understand, like all of us, that work, social, beer festivals and all that's about now. So we're all getting back into life. But you know, when you don't see anybody and they don't comment for months on end, you do kind of worry. So there's a couple of people who were on the chat who've totally disappeared that I do need. The Flavely Advent Calendar. <laughs> yeah. I think something like Trembling Madness will be an interesting one. I'm definitely going to do Adventure Beer because it's all local breweries. 75 quid, so it's not, you know, it's, it's good price. <clears throat> but the delivery is free. But even at, even at 75 quid around the country. Luminous nice. Yeah, it is not, it's not a bad beer, that isn't. Not bad. I mean, what I can do, if everybody wants to chat, I can leave the stream running and just let people chat if you want to chat. I'm all good for that, and then turning it off in an hour's time, or when the phone dies. <coughs> good to see our, our good friend, uh, 